Hello, what's up everyone and welcome back to a new YouTube video. So in this video, we're going to be showing with you some amazing Obsidian plugins that you need to start using from today. Not only are these plugins super helpful, but they will make your experience so much better and will help you get around Obsidian overall a lot faster. So these will be some community plugins. So sometimes they might bug or not work as intended, but that's all right. As they keep getting updated and improved with time, you can still make very good use of them. And I believe some of them are essential, meaning that everybody needs to have them. And I believe eventually they will become some of the core plugins within the application. So without any further ado, let's just get right into it. So to get started, you want to open up your Obsidian, launch your vault and then head over to the settings right here. From the settings tab, you will see a bunch of options right here. As you can see, there are some core plugins that are enabled. We want to go to the community plugins where it will be open source and we can search for the plugins that we want and get them right away. So turn on your community plugins. If at some point, for example, a plugin bugs or so on, you can just turn on the restricted mode and it will turn off all the community plugins. So from here, you can click on the browse button and you'll be able to see and search through all the community plugins. You can see how many downloads each one has and the latest time it was updated. So if a plugin had been updated recently, chances are it doesn't really have any bugs in it and it would work just fine. You can click on show installed only. And as you can see, I don't have any plugins installed yet. So let's go ahead and get the plugins together and I'll be explaining each one individually so that you know how to make use of it to the best that you can. So the first plugin that we're we're going to be talking about is called setting search click on it right here and then click on install so this plugin is extremely simple yet it has a very important function that will allow you to navigate and quickly search for a particular setting and not only can you search for settings but you can also search for other plugins i believe that this is one of the most important plugins that everyone needs to have regardless of what they do with obsidian so go ahead download install it and then enable it within your vault so now we have the settings search enabled if you disable it by clicking on this button you will see that the settings search bar has been disabled so re-enable it and now you will get this little search bar that you can search for settings and also other plugins and we'll be using it to search for the other plugins that I'll be telling you about. The next plugin that we have is called Commander and what this plugin does is it enables you to control the spacing on your ribbon and not only that but also add commands for your vault. So now that it's installed and enabled you can click on this button right here and as you can see you can and as you can see you can control the spacing for your command buttons and then you can add command to the ribbon and also every single bar and menu in the entirety of Obsidian. This is a great plugin for customizing your experience and getting the most suitable and comfortable view that you can have while working on your vault. The next community plugin that we have for today is called Calendar and as the name suggests, it is a calendar that will help you view and visualize your daily notes. And what's cool about this plugin is that it's not just a calendar, it allows you to create a specific note by clicking on one of the days on the calendar and then it will create a new folder and edit the note itself. So this is very useful to keeping track with your regular habits or your day-to-day -day goals. The next plugin is a very important and useful plugin in my opinion and it is called Book Search. What Book Search does is that it allows you to create a list of all the books that you want to read or have read, plus you can customize it so that you can add your own rating and comments and if you want you can add a little summary of the books so that you can keep track of your entire list and customize it in a way that you find useful for your reading habits. You can access this plugin once you've installed it from this section right here. You click on create a new book note. And then you search for a specific book. So let's say for example, so once you've input a specific keyword of the book, it will show you the list of books related to that keyword. You can select the specific one that you want. So this is the main book, for example, you've got the summary of a different one or the main one right here. So you can click on it and then it will give you a bunch of data about the book, such as the title, the author and then how many pages there is in the book and it will even provide you the little description of the book. So I find this plugin extremely useful to use especially when I'm looking for something to read so I can customize my list and keep it up to date whenever I finish a book and so on. And to make perfect use of such lists when creating them we will need the next plugin which is called Data View. Data View will, data view will upgrade your vault into a database from which you can create amazing lists with more in-depth and you can seamlessly create those in a way that makes it really Really easy to access so it's basically like having your own library within vault and it is private you can add for example the name of books that you've read 
There is how many pages you've read, for example, the length of the book, and then your own rating that you can customize into it. And very similarly to the book search plugin, we have this quick add plugin that will allow you to add movies into your list and customize your watch list, plus add your own reviews and ratings on the movies. So it's basically like a private IMBD list that you can have within your vault and it will help you sort out and find for when you're looking for something to watch, for example. And very similarly to the book search plugin, we have the, this is extremely helpful to keep track of your projects and it helps you organize your projects and move them through phases. And on top of that, it groups your project and it will help you view them in multiple kind of ways, such as a table, board, calendar, or gallery. You can even create a database folder using the project cards. And that will be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found these plugins to be helpful, let us know in the comments down below and subscribe for future videos.